1942, a batch of woodcut artworks from Yin An was presented at the National Woodcut Exhibition in Chongqing. The famous painter Xu Bei Hong wrote in Xinmin Evening News, at 3 p.m. on October 15, 1942, I discovered a true genius in the Chinese art world, Gu Yuan, a remarkable artist of the Communist Party of China. This great artist's first exhibitions were actually held above the beds of peasants. In the early 1940s, Chairman Mao Zedong called the graduates of the Lu Xun Academy of Fine Arts to closely examine the real lives of the working masses, learn from them, understand them, and express them. In June 1941, after graduating from the academy, Gu Yuan went to Niangzhuang village, not far from Yan'an. There were only 42 households in the village, and most of its residents were illiterate. When Gu Yuan arrived, the government of the border region was carrying out a literacy campaign named Recognizing 1,000 Characters. Gu Yuan helped with the drive by drawing literacy cards. Finding that the villagers were particularly fond of cards that featured livestock, he created four works and gave the rubbings to the villagers. The villagers cherished these paintings and hung them above their beds. One day, an old herdsman said that a dog should be added to the painting, pointing out that dogs protected the herd from wolves. He also said that a herder should carry a sack on his back so he could use it to bring a kid back if a female goat gave birth on the hill. This was the first time Gu Yuan had heard advice from an old herdsman. It made him realize the gap between his artistic requirements and those of the masses. Soon after, he added a dog and a kid to his work. Twenty years later, Gu Yuan recalled, The peasants put the paintings I gave them above their beds, watching them carefully while smoking their pipes. The villagers were my audience and my teachers. Since then, learning from workers, peasants and soldiers and creating works for them had been Gu Yuan's lifelong pursuit. Gu Yuan's works reflected the reality of the times. In the village, he created a large number of woodcuts depicting how peasants became the masters of their lives. Rent Reduction Meeting is a work depicting poor peasants demanding reductions in rent and interest from their landlords. The poor peasants in the picture had finally started to take control of their own destinies. The villagers also work to educate themselves. Winter learning vividly portrays peasants learning to read during the winter slack season. In Gu Yuan's eyes, breaking women out of their feudal shackles and fighting for freedom of marriage was a groundbreaking initiative. Gu Yuan continued to experiment with and innovate his techniques to meet people's artistic needs. He boldly broke away from the light, dark contrast seen in Western woodcuts and fused it with Chinese New Year paintings, thus forming a unique woodcut style. Tsai Roa Hong, one of the forefathers of the PRC's fine arts, said of Gu Yuan, he was one of the first painters to go to Yan'an and keep pace with the times. In 1990, at the age of 71, Gu Yuan returned to Niangzhuang village and gave to the villagers the 13 woodcuts that he made when he was there. In a preface entitled The Cradle, he wrote, Niangzhuang village is the cradle where my artistic life was nurtured. <laughs> 